In this example, we want to integrate cosine squared 2x. So we might be thinking that we should perform a u substitution, where if we let u equal cosine 2x, we could write this as u squared, but this is not going to work because notice that differential u would be equal to negative sine 2x times 2 or negative 2 sine 2x dx. So notice how the integrand does not contain a factor of sine 2x and therefore this u substitution will not work. But we can perform a substitution using a power reducing formula given here below in red. Notice that cosine squared x is equal to one half times the quantity one plus cosine two x. Also notice when applying this identity, on the left side the angle is x and on the right side the angle is two x. So we double the angle when applying this power reducing formula. So if we apply this formula to cosine squared two x, we could factor out the one half and then we'd have the integral of the quantity one plus cosine four x. Again, notice that the angle was two x and now it's four x. And now because we'll have to perform u substitution to integrate cosine four x, let's go ahead and write this as two separate integrals. We can write this as one half times the quantity of the integral of one dx plus the integral of cosine four x dx. And again, this is going to require u substitution where u would be equal to four x and therefore differential u would be equal to four dx. So if we divide both sides by four, notice that one fourth du is equal to dx. So we can write this as one half times the quantity of the integral of one dx and then we'll have plus the integral of, again u is four x so we have cosine u but dx is equal to one fourth du, so we'll factor out the one fourth and then we have du here. And now we can go ahead and integrate. So we'll have one half times the quantity, the integral of one with respect to x is x, and then we have plus one fourth times the integral of cosine u, which is equal to sine u plus c, but remember u is four x, so we have sine four x plus c. Let's go ahead and distribute here. We would have one half x plus one eighth sine four x plus c. This would be our antiderivative. I hope you found this helpful.